Transformers Devastation. Hey, and welcome to Transformers Devastation. This was my first Platinum game. Yeah, that was a while ago. Um, I'll keep this concise before we get in, but many moons ago, in the bygone era of 2015, I watched a couple of Canadians known as the best friend Zaibatsu play this cool Transformers game by this group called Platinum Games that they really loved. I, I'm pretty sure at that point I'd, I'd watched Revengeance, so I knew. But yeah, um, I picked this up on the 360 pretty much immediately after for like a whopping 50 bucks. Which honestly, for a new game in Australia is nothing. I mean, it's 80 normally, they're trying to push 100 now, so, you know. Anyway, besides the point, let's get started. Story mode, Warrior. Yes. Now, that wouldn't come up on a fresh install. That was because I'm restarting this. You know, um, I tried and true pillar of this channel. Oh, great, my TV's betraying me. Beautiful. Um, it's turned itself off, kinda. Hmm. Or rather, the picture died. Great. Well, I'm happy it happened now. An odd during, say, combat. And the controller is going nuts. Excellent. Yeah, so I'm not going to pretend I'm a big Transformers fan. Hell, I'm not even going to pretend I'm a casual Transformers fan. I just think it's neat. Um, back in the day, um, in the even more bygone era of like 2003-2004, uh, they used to have Transformers um, Armada and Energon and whichever order they're in on Channel 10 at 6 a.m. in the morning. So occasionally I'd wake up enough, you know, wake up early enough to check it out. Um, then, in the less bygone era of 2011, there was this cool show called Transformers Prime. Back in the era of the small horses. I'd say simpler times, but not quite. But regardless, um, Prime was pretty cool. Like that a lot. This game is really cool. Oh, by the way, I'm trying this new thing called, um, not swearing. Yeah. Cause, cause I care about monetization. Yeah. That's totally it. But anyway, um, Gen 1 art style. Cool. Um, a lot of the old VAs. Frank Welker, an example. Um, Starscream's voice actor. Oh, was he the one that passed? Yeah, he's the one that passed away, I'm pretty sure. So they got a pretty good sound alike, but, you know. Wow, the controller's going nuts for real. Yeah, so here's our playable cast. Go Grimlock, go. Yeah, so you're gonna see some Platinum in this. If you're familiar with their games, and given, well, you're on this channel, and, you know, I kind of like Astral Chain, you're going to see some similarities, I'm sure. Um, I haven't played a lot of Bayo 1. I haven't even touched to its consequence, despite having a Wii U version. Um, I only got like three or four missions in. I've really got to get back to it. But, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of enemy, enemy movesets that, you know, show up in this game from other Platinum Greatest Hits. So anyway, um, in case you haven't played a character action game before, yeah, you move and turn the camera, very exciting. So, on the square button, because this is PS4, we have our light attacks. What's this? Huh, that reminds me of Astral Chain. How weird. We have our heavies on the triangle. Yeah. So again, I haven't played enough of Bayo. I, I can't even remember, that was ages ago. But I think this is where the sync attacks from Astral Chain came in. I don't know if any other Platinum games had it. What in the world so that's also a cool mechanic. Transforming. Come in. Is oh, there's this plot going on too, that's, that's cool. I think so, Optimus. They're creating hurricane force winds like they're trying to sweep the city clear. Whatever their purpose, there is more to the situation than meets the eye. Yeah, he said the line. Yeah, so this game looks really nice, especially for something that came out in 2015. 
Um, there are some weird screen tearing things. Um, it showed up in my videos. The two Transformers ones I made thus far. This is the Decepticon spy plane. Nailed it. Guess Megatron got a plus three kill streak or whatever. Yeah, so, um, normal, normal pause menu. Unfortunately, this is, again, well before Astral Chain. So if you want to go to a specific part in the level, you've got to play the entire chapter. All pretty standard on the touchpad. It's select on Xbox. Items which I never really knew about my first time through, which made this a blast. You've got stats, because this is technically got some RPG elements in it. You got your map, your lore, you know, your codex. The thing I normally hate, but screw it, it's a platinum game. I'll make an exception for them. You got your move list. I will be going with the style I describe as controlled mashing. Um, very, very reminiscent of my Astral Chain play style. So in case you couldn't tell this was made by Platinum. Yeah. Radio. so first things first. And I screwed it up. So, on the right trigger, your dodge. Repurpose witch time. So there we go, that's how the combos work. Someone came up with the awesome name of Prime Time, and I, I love that so much. So, obviously, vehicle mode. It's a big gimmick here. If you charge at them, you can do a rush attack. That gets explained relatively soon. That's explaining our sync attacks, known as vehicle attacks. Um, if you're playing on Commander or Higher, you get some big guys coming up very soon. Um, the guns have very generous aim assist, or at least the snipers do. It's kind of similar to the technique I used to use in Borderlands 2, of just quick scoping the hell out of stuff. Yeah, so you won't always get a sync attack out of the heavy, um, heavy vehicle, uh, vehic uh sorry, the heavy rush attacks. But that's because I've got to buy a skill too. So this is a nice little introduction to the types of enemies you're going to be fighting. Some very disposable Decepticons. Yeah, the art's so great in this game. Yep, now Sideswipe's here to give us a hand. Uncle Mo, here I am while you eat. Um, yeah, there's no lock on. There's no proper lock. There's some soft lock. Um, is that? I think that's how Bayo 1 was. I don't remember which um, Platinum games have a proper dedicated lock on. God, I've got to play Automata properly. Yeah, so you get moments like that where I was targeting nothing as consequence. And because I'm trying to do a rush attack on a flying enemy, well, that's just an awful idea in general. You still get sick stuff like that. That's annoying. I got an A rank um, when I was trying this the first time. Oh, well. So, yeah. Um, green is hell. Blue is energy. So, yeah. Um, Prime's axe. Our prime, haha, <laughs> rare weapon. Um, no energon requirements. Guns, all of them require energon. Some melee weapons, like um, energon swords, will require it. And on top of that, let's just try this. That does work. Loot. So in this game, you have a weapon system up. We'll pick this up. Similar to Kid Icarus Uprising. So, what are energon cubes? Um, they, they're energon cubes. They can explode violently. Wonder if that'll come up as a mechanic. Yep, uh, Teletran doing his job. Explaining the walls. Yeah, very uh, style adjudicators. Yeah, totally. These guys, you whack, and then you get a chest in time. Or complete whatever, uh, whatever objective there may be. Everyone has a double jump. I'm pretty sure even Grimlock does. Hey, I found something. Follow me. You did? Yep, so in case you didn't figure it out, the game tells you. Such witty dialogue. I'm the 
And yeah, I, I already kind of showed that off, but mid-air, hit, hit the R1 for vehicle transformation, you do that. R2 is shoot, L2 is aim, um, yeah, L1. Um, something I forget to use. So, that yellow gauge is not quite your special, but, well actually, yeah, it's just special ability, I forget the terminology, but that blue gauge building up around the Autobot symbol is our um, super, basically. Oh no, this is a tough one right here. Proceeds to miss the first one on purpose, I swear. You've just got to run through them, so... Beautiful. Yeah, there's probably a lot of references in terms of the signage that get lost in me. Fox and plugs, so though, I don't think that's, um, that's a reference, so to speak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they use the, yeah, they use the Astral Chain school of totally fake shots. Hey, Grimlock. What's this? Oh. Which time? So then if you time this right, what can happen is you can vehicle attack through this wall and smack into these guys. Hey. What's up, dudes? Oh, yeah. Optimus has some weird animations there. But as you can see, yeah, I kind of just locked on to the other one by uh, pure dumb luck, I guess. Not that I wanted to. You are going to hear a lot of button mashing. Um, just a heads up. So, yeah, as you can see on the on the L3 and R3. Oh yeah, that levels up always. Actually, that's only strength. That's odd. Um, I could use my special move. I will be saving that because something fun awaits just up ahead. There we go. Ending it nice and lame. Truly the DMC 2 of Transformers. Oh. Yeah, so you have credits for the weapon fusing. Uh, we missed the capsule. That kind of sucks. Not all, not all of these will work the first time around. Because, after all, this is a Platinum game, which means reused assets. That said... Hey, um, for anyone who's played Revengeance and doesn't know about this somehow, did you like Ray? I mean, spoiler, I already made a video of this guy, so what a surprise. Oh yeah, by the way, um, every single song in the soundtrack, amazing. Just start putting it out there. I don't think there's a single song I've heard in a Platinum game that I don't like. So... Um, we don't quite get it there. Bumblebee's way better at exploiting it. But something that happens is, during vehicle attacks, if you happen to time them for a dodge, you'll get your, um, well, prime time. That's just how I'm going to refer to it as. Yes. So, you know what? Let's go for it. Chunks it. Hardcore. So, he really spammed the grab the first time around, and I've managed to beat him twice. Um, tonight, or well, today, without getting touched. So let's see if we can pull it off again. It's not particularly hard. I'm just getting rather spam happy. Um, that glowing Autobot symbol up the top is our style gauge. Something that is never explained. And how it works is, other than, you know, no dynamic music, it makes you attack faster and hit harder. So, yeah, that's pretty rad. Damn. I wanted to end with a vehicle attack, but clearly that was not going to happen. Devastator, you're needed elsewhere. The others can finish the Autobots. Another time, Autobots. So in case you couldn't tell this game was made on a shoestring budget, Devastator just vanishes. Yeah. Um, Activision did not give them enough money. That's for damn sure. This game deserves a sequel. Um, apparently, it technically has a prequel. Um, there was like a comic series this kind of tied in with. And this set up for something that got explored later, I think. I don't remember the specifics, but... Oh yeah, up there. Let's see, can we do it? Probably not. Oh. Gyro aim, this is not. Yeah, no, that's a bit far. But that is... A Decepticon flag. Maybe if we can shoot it, that'd be cool. So this is our little gun tutorial. Dodging bullets grants 
our witch time, which is rad. So we're already out of Bumblebee's gun. First gun. We have the second one. Oh, as you can see, the auto aim, the aim assist is being rather aggressive in helping me shoot the ones I don't want to shoot. But there we go. With a good sniper rifle, this takes literally two seconds. Oh. Hey, buddy. Took down a Decepticon flag. Unlock new character art. Yeah, this tied into what was it? Transformers Generations, I think. Um, not something. It's not something I really know about. Just well, you know, I played this game. Oh, also, if I can hit it. So this opens the chest over this way. That's progress. If you can't tell. Hey, what's this? Hey, little dude. So truly, this is where the cats from Astral Chain came from. Um, apparently, Kremzeeks don't show up much at all in Transformers canon. Um, given they're a collectible in this game, I kind of would have thought otherwise as an incredibly casual fan, but... Oh well. That just, that's probably a good pull for the true fans, I guess. Yeah, so there we go. Um, Bumblebee, you just start off with his glasses, a basic machine gun and his fists, his gloves, which I love anyway because the frost knuckles are my go-to weapon with the twin heat swords. They're just ones I powered up really big time. Now let's see. Yeah, um, I don't really treat it, I don't really play this game with any like specific combos in mind. I'll just kind of mash it out depending on how I feel. But Bumblebee has a cool mechanic that I think the other Autobots don't get in that you can chain vehicle attacks. You will get two, they will hit weaker. Oh, what's this? I mean, I knew that was going to happen. This is to give you the slowdown for the gate, but, you know, screw you guys. And they kindly drop down here to give us some goodies. Yeah, power boost the while we're at it. Um, as you can see, repair kits, 50% health. All health uh, restore 50% of the weapon's energon. All energy. And power booster. There's a bunch of these capsules, they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, just big attack buff for a little bit. Pretty rad. So Bumblebee is my go-to character for this game, just because he's the one I played a lot as, because I love his mobility. And I just, well, just in general, I love how fast he is. Oh, just I hadn't pressed that. Yeah, so claws. Whoa, we'll have to destroy that, that claw! That claw. I'm gonna fuck it up, yep. Oh no, I said a bad word. I mean, what? Oh no, YouTube, don't hurt my channel. Yep, so there we go. Bumblebee has a cool mechanic with these guys though, if I can show it off. So you know how in Astral Chain, um, Yosef says a thing. Um, it's kind of a thing that ties into Mirror Automata. If you mash it as Bumblebee enough, you can ascend become as gods, if you will. There. I mean, that's not even an actual chain spoiler. He says it, like, what, within the first third of the game. You know, to the giant, giant Sealy dominoes. And yes, this is effectively... Oh, what's this? Oh, a, a T, huh. This is glorified practice for when I cave and play Astral Chain. That's probably later this year, to be honest. I might as well. Just get it out of the way. What is the meaning of this? Optimus, come to save the day, I presume? I am here to stop you from destroying the city. Stop me? <laughs> oh, Prime, you have no idea what you're really If you can't tell you, this is meant to be the really Saturday morning nice. cartoon or like a movie and really camp, this well, it should be blatantly Megatron. obvious now? We and if not, it. Uh, by the end of no this chapter. Megatron. I am no interest in destroying Earth, but I'm not opposed to making a few, shall we say, improvements? Hmm. <laughs> what would Megatron do to Earth to improve it? Anyway, uh, Megatron, second boss. Yeah, I figured it out. Don't worry. Yeah, so first time I played this, I managed to accidentally... I dropped it, but I managed to accidentally air juggle Megatron effectively the whole fight. Uh, you can't entirely because he'll go back into a shield form. 
which is teaching us about some enemies that will show up later in the game. So this fight, you don't have to beat him 100%. You get him down to about 50 health and he's like, oh, well, I'm out of here, see you later. Um, Prime is being incredibly helpful. In fact, he appears to have bugged. Something that has never happened before <laughs> done this fight. Yeah, so he just casually turned into a tank, you know. I think he does. You gonna help, Optimus? No? Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, more, more deceptive chumps for me. Now, you might notice I have Bumblebee Super. Yeah, I do. Also, if you get lucky, you can um, get a, a slowdown, but screw it. You can get a slowdown um, after a vehicle attack and aim with your guns, which is pretty rad. That said, I wanted to end with Bumblebee Super. I like the grenades a lot. They're really good crowd control. If I was trying not to swear, I'd use an old best friend saying of see you later, something. See you later, friends. Yeah, I'm gonna crack eventually. I can't get this up. I'm not working. I can, I'm a big boy. I can afford to swear, but we'll try. Oh. Oh, well, that's, um... Thanks. Yeah, so we're sideswiped now. I'll get you later. Ah, uh, we have sideswipe swords. Breakdown! Yeah, um... You know, if it wasn't very apparent, I'm not a huge... Um... Expert at DMC. But, Sideswipe feels very Dante inspired. His L1 special. Reminds me of his little uh, Trickster teleport. I'm pretty sure that's a move, that's a move Dante does. I, yeah, it's in Trickster, I'm sure. It's not enemy step, I know that. And now we gotta shoot this because the game dictates. We also have a flamethrower. It's pretty cool. You can also shoot it while driving. I believe I missed one. Nope. Okay, cool. Neat. Yeah, so in, in one sense, I'm actually kind of disappointed Devastator didn't spam his grab box. Or his grab, because then I could I could joke that it's, um... Well, it's not as bad as, uh... FromSoft grabs, am I right, fellow game? <laughs> I regret making that joke. Oh. Hey, Decepticon spy plane. Let's see if we can hit it. Nope. Beautiful. This gun will lock on to enemies, but, you know, something like that, not really. Oh, what's the space bridge? Huh, that's weird. That's the question I was going to ask. Now the TV has betrayed me again. Excellent. Thank you. A space bridge is a device capable of bending the fabric of space and time, connects two points in space that are far apart from each other. Basically, you can jump um, between two places. Wow. Um, I wonder if that will come up in the game at all. As I'm stalling for time while my TV turns back on. Hmm. I have a nice big monitor, a new one I just bought the other day, but it's a little too good for what I'm doing. It's um too big. It's too big for what I'm working on right now, and the speakers aren't as nice as I'd like. And if I had really good speakers, they'd pick up on the mic too much. Oh well. So it's kind of taught, taught us about rush attacks, but before I do that. Yeah. Have to find another route for now. Sweet, sweet loot. And yes, that kind of got stuffed up. So if we do this... Oh, wrong thing. Excellent. As you can see, there is part of the map we haven't accessed yet. Probably links up to there. There's this whole section over here. There's this whole section over here. City of Steel. It's a pretty big map. Um, it will get reused. Don't worry. Again, this is a Platinum game. Now, being a Platinum game... Other than sick music, of course. We get the slightly upgraded version. So, uh, the ground of uh, a ground commander has a moveset that the constructor cons will use very soon. Okay. Didn't mean to do that, but sure. Um, Sideswipe, I noticed just a little bit ago, builds his meter incredibly fast, which I am not opposed to, because it's a very powerful one. 
In fact, I should put more time into learning Sideswipe. He's quite fun. So I can't remember if um, that can be used as a dodge. I imagine maybe it can, within reason. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so ult ult engage. Basically perfectly timed. It's Snake from Brawl. Effectively. So our strength went up. Uh, the stats aren't really explained to be completely honest. Not that they matter too much. All you gotta know is having them be high, you know, having higher stats is a good thing. In case that wasn't in, you know, you know blatantly obvious. Oh, wow. Hit me in prime time. Coward. Okay, yeah, what am I saying? Sideswipe gets two vehicle attacks like Bumblebee. And you could see it there just as we slowed down for the victory animation. Well, for the little scoring. Yeah, the screen tearing. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just how this game is. Um, must have been a concession they had to make uh, due to the graphical style. So that is the intended path. We'll go that way in a second. There might be a secret mission here. A hidden verse or something. Hello guys. You like those mini homunculi. You know in file file nine? That one? You know, Astral Chain? Haha. <laughs> yeah, so there's a hidden mission down here. This one sucks a sideswipe. I don't don't remember exactly what it Oh that's right. You have to hit um those little floating things that you know, um, what are they called? The, the things that um, bring up the uh, chests and little challenges. Um, I'm not doing that a sideswipe now. It sucks. The flare gun might be able to do it, but no. Anyway, we'll be going back that way later in a level. That said, we must ascend. Let's just do this. Rush attack midair, of course. Up here. Oh, yep. Come back to this. Red Energon. What is this stuff? Looks like Energon smells like Energon. Ow. Teletran one. Analyze. I knew that had happened. It, it would betray me. Yeah, um, Red Energon. Explosive. It will become, you know, pink. Or purple in a cutscene for no real reason. Hey, Deceptor Chumps. Oh, one survived. I was gonna leave you to save the, you know... I was gonna save you to send a message, but... Megatron wouldn't listen anyway. Um, yeah. While we're at it... You get these capsules. The things I... The, these are boosters, these are capsules. I got my terminology wrong, I'm very sorry. Raise, um, your stats, basically. Uh, scanners give you more XP, credits, etc. You know, weapon drops, stuff like that. I'd use them before a boss, to be completely honest. But yeah, um, oh, something. What's this over here? Something. Ah, the Pharaoh Texas. Um, the Golden Age. Um, basically, it has a lot of important, important cultural and historical stuff in it. Um, that will come up as a plot point soon, I swear. And by that, I mean in the next mission. Ow. I kind of screwed up my timing. Yeah, so you can kind of see it here with Sideswipe as well. You get that weird slidiness sometimes. Yeah, so some missions will just be this. Not the most exhilarating thing in the world, but... Again, with good sniper rifle. Oh. Oh. Damn, he was really going. Uh, yeah, with good sniper rifle, they're incredibly easy. There is some um, bug you can pull off in this game. Um, I don't remember. It was in the speed run. Oh, God. This isn't the one. Oh, shit. It is the one. I was wrong. The other one wasn't as bad. Okay, yeah. Flamethrower is not as bad. It's just if you run out of energon, this will be incredibly hard. To do it. Oh, you son of a... I'm just bad at this. But a real gun would help. Instead of doing this. 
Ah, uh, yeah, this is the really bad one. Oh, this is the even worse one. Yeah, you can see why I don't like this fish in the side. In fact, do we get the option? Oh, that's share. What am I doing? Can we just quit? Okay, nope. Unfortunately not. Well, you have to endure me chomping this up. Wasting energon as I do it. Fantastic. Maybe I can pull it back. There's no ranking. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, yes, there is a ranking. Whew! That was legitimately harder than a lot of stuff I've done on Prime. Being the hardest difficulty. Yeah, so all the weapon drops, um, that will come to fruition very, very soon. Don't worry. Pretty much after this fight. As we enter into it immediately. And you know what? You guys get special treatment. And the Seekers are back. Seekers of wealth, power, glory, etc. Yosef, you said if we gave you all the money, you could make us more powerful than chimeras. What the hell have you been doing? <laughs> Making anime cops. And red cop in particular. Man, I sure need the protagonist's sister or brother to get critically injured by Jenna so I can make something. Towers got ahead. Almost there. Cough. Yeah, this game is platinum as hell. It'll become more and more blatant as time goes on. I see you. Don't screw up again. Beautiful. I may be done with RE3 for good, but Resident Evil references will live on. Yeah, can I get some... Yep, there we go. Some blue energy. Excellent. Some ammunition. So there are some stuff over there. A uh, spy plane I can't hit. But we'll go this way for now. Now, I could just leave and not harass these guys. But where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in just walking away from a fight? Oh, excellent. What are you doing over here? Get out of here, you stupid idiot! Okay. Yep, okay, this is, um... Hey, um, platinum and cameras, am I right? Am I right, guys? <laughs> ah. Not very strong point. Maybe the one in automata is not that bad, I don't know. I can't often play enough of it. You shoot off in the wrong direction. Shit, oh, yep, no, no, that's, that's what I wanted. Well done, me. Sometimes you've just got to withhold the uh, drive, if you will, to mass vehicle attack when they come out. Sucker. Yeah, screw that. So our strength went up. The hell if I know what it does. This really is the highlight. Except for safe, because you know, I need to make that Dark Souls in summary reference every single playthrough. Because I love Plague's animations. Right, and... Did we lock on properly? Yeah. We got them all? We got them all. Wait, where do you think you're going with my treasure? Get back here. Now oh, we'll despawn. Well, maybe there was none to begin with. Anyway, besides the point. Progress. I'm not going to get every single crate. You can, you can relax. It's fine. Alright, what are you doing this time, Megatron? Can you hear it, Optimus? It's calling out to those Insecticons, somehow directing them. Story revelation. Go whichever Constructicon you are, I forget. <laughs> it looks kind of cute in a weird way. It also looks really dumb. It looks like something you'd see on like one of those best of the worst films, Red Letter Media Watch. Yeah, so um, these hoops. Yeah, so you just ne knock Megatron out of the truck. Problem solved. I'm probably gonna get hit by a stray blast. 
I'm very good at that. That's it. Uh, Sideswipe is incredibly good at catching up to Negs. In fact, for good measure, because screw it, we really don't need to do this, but suck at Megatron. Yeah, so I showed this game to one of my um, mates who's a rather big Transformers fan, and he thought this was pretty rad. I explained it was budget, and yeah, he could tell, but um, I showed him a little bit of- oh, screw you. Oh, thanks, Aim Assist. Um, I showed him a little bit of Astral Chain a few weeks prior, so he knew he knew what these guys are capable of. Anytime I need to sell anyone on Astral Chain, I get I show them the Kyle fight. Bit of a spoiler technically, but it's a highlight, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, if if it's time I'd rather play it, but Yeah, so uh, first time this fight took me a bit because I was not good at the rush attacks, which sounds incredibly dumb because I will proceed to curb stop make a trot. Worst comes to worst, you'll get some good tank hits in. <laughs> yeah, you also try that. It looks really dumb. Oh, he's doing some... Yep, there we go. Um, that's the problem with not having a proper lock. We're going to go for a heavy rush because screw you, Megs. Um, like, not having a proper lock isn't a huge flaw of this game. It's still incredibly fun to play and satisfying to play in general. I know that's kind of repeating itself in two different ways, but still. Um, just, I think a lock, a proper lock on would have really helped. So if you're really lucky and you um, land in one of those um, accelerators, it gets really funny because you immediately blow Megatron back. Happened to me slightly early, about an hour and a half ago when I was testing this out. Yeah, because that's what you do on a Friday night at um, 9.30. You test out transform this devastation for a playthrough. If this wasn't blatantly apparent based on the part one I presume I put in the title, yeah, this is a full LP, damn it. Oh, maybe I'll play it again on Prime one day. I don't know. But that'll have to be the 360 version because that's where all my good stuff is. Yep. I should really be using this. Oh. Where'd you go, Max? <laughs> As you can see, Megatron's done well for himself and got himself um, trapped in the barrier's ribbon. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm not healing. That's for cowards. That'd be sensible. We only need a few more hits anyway. As I said, that would have been sensible. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Oh, uh, this is the inverse of Bloodborne. My very first LP. Where I didn't die once until, um... Maybe I died once in Old Yarnum, but that was part two. I didn't die at all to Cleric or uh, Cleric Beast or Gas Quain. So, you know. Dying to uh, Meg Megatron 2. Um, amazing. Man. Oh, didn't want to let me have the breakdown. Yeah, so he's quite adept at doing that. So I didn't show a Bumblebee's mechanic, which is a, um, well, kind of just jumping on the head, getting behind them. It's quite useful for big guys, and it would be incredibly useful for Megatron, giving, you know, given he loves his shields. You know, as shields engender passivity, as we all know from playing Bloodborne, right? Can't be aggressive with shield at all. Man, I'm hoping in Elden Ring you can fight like Dragon Slayer armor. That'd be the sickest. That seems like a leap in logic, getting from Transformers to this, but... You know... It's not like FromSoft don't make sick action games too. They're just, you know, RPGs. Alright, as you can see, I haven't even been touched. Don't worry, that's... Ooh, it's about to change, but I think that won't now. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Because I got hit by the, by the barrier. Because I am very good at this game. The Megatron. And that's still an A rank. So, you know, there's that. My destiny awaits below. As for you, I just engaged the security system. Good luck getting in, Prime. <laughs> Thank you. 
Caltran 1, analyze. It's a ship of unknown origins, buried beneath the city. How do I shut down the security system? It appears there is a dual layer security protocol in place. You'll first need to disable three sub generators. Once disabled, the primary generator will be vulnerable. Autobots, transform and roll out. Hey, he said a thing. I feel like that's a, that's a reference to the franchise or something. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Can the flare gun do it? Yes, it can reach. Again, a sniper rifle makes this trivial. Also, I was floating. Well played, me. Now, the lens flare, the Mass Effect remaster-esque lens flare is making that incredibly hard to see. Yeah, so you can just skip that if you know where it's gonna spawn, which, well, yeah, wait, yes I do. It's there. I'm thinking of a spot um, in chapter two. The one I had to replay a billion times for that Insecticon video. Yeah. Oh wait, no, this chest is always here too. I'm... Yeah, you can redo that challenge in Chapter 2. Anyway, besides the point. We can't get in there. How tragic. Oh, what are you? Oh yeah, you can do this, by the way. That's pretty rad. The Teletran Alpha. You know what? This is something important for me too, because I have no idea about anything uh, Gen 1 at all. Because I am, again, a fake fan. Oh, yeah, you. Hey, uh, do you guys like the Wonder Mart? Well, too bad we're forced into going there anyway. Man, I've got to beat Wonderful 101 too. As in, I've got to beat it as well. Boy, I wish there was a Wonderful 101. 102, I guess. Yeah, so hammers, swords, hammer, um, spread shot. You get the idea, I'm just gonna skip this. So, as you can see, this is the cool part of this game. Um, shock sniper rifles, I know what I'm doing. Yep, I can now change weapons. So, here on this menu, we can now swap between the three of them. I'm probably gonna stick. Mm, now nah, we'll go prime for a bit, screw it. So we'll go into here, which is really neat. Um, you'll be able to tell if I shut up that if you transition between the menus. Um, yeah, the music changes too. It's pretty involved, I like it a lot. So I'll talk about tech in a sec. Synthesize is what you think it is. So, Prime can use basically every weapon. It's um, denoted um, by down the bottom, it says can equip. Grimlock can use them too, but we don't have Grimlock yet. So let's see, what's a good weapon to start off with? Because we are playing the whole game, so, you know. I'm having skill slots is useful, because that's the, kind of the whole point. So a cryo hammer seems pretty good. Rare drop plus three. That seems good to me too. So the level go up and the stats will go up. Pretty cool. So, um, weapons like this do have split damage. I don't know if it's Dark Souls-esque split damage, but besides the point. Um, I'll, I like the hammers. I just wish they had a bit more hyper armor. It'd be, uh, it'd be cool. Um, recoil, that is good. So, let's see. Let's sort by ranged and find our strongest sniper. You. Ah, so that builds up our ultimate as well. That seems like a good... That seems like a good choice so far. Rad. Yeah, there's a bunch of different things here. Um, in between sessions, I'm basically gonna go through and fix this up. I'll just, you know, merge stuff. Um, if you find a Star Saber, you are lucky. The Star Saber rocks big time. It is godlike. Um, Steel Sword has two. Um, so let's just have a look to see what abilities we got. Nothing here. Of course, you can just, um, you know, consume weapons anyway. So, not relevant for us there because the Sealed Sword does not use Energon at all. But you can still consume weapons. You know, consume product, all that stuff. You know, those dank, dank memes. Hilarious, am I right? Anyway, that's enough of that. We're just going to equip and get on with this. Um, we are going to equip 
the steel hammer and the steel sword oh, sorry the cryo hammer the hyper cryo hammer um we're gonna swap this the actually we'll swap the nade launcher for the burn sniper rifle and the iron blaster for uh, basic blaster it's better yeah so you can totally change the um the layout and all that if you want tech is pretty cool we don't have any to equip so what you have to do is develop tech which brings up this cool little mini game um yeah let's make one good one teach us will jack damn it oh man that was amazing yeah um yeah so what you have to do is ideally stop it in that orange area the pale um the white blue area is all right too so that's not bad that's not bad at all ally heal isn't really something that you'll ever really need to worry about but and yeah as you can see the patterns change every time too that's also pretty good yeah we'll we'll equip that cool yeah prime gets a bunch of slots um grimlock only gets one i believe in contrast um status you can have a look at your stats you can pour credits into your um well into your stats you do here no nothing that's right that's just sh showing you the weapons the lab you can buy moves so this is what i should have done first in true platinum fashion so you know um this is fine kind of feels like again siding borderlands the the vendors you never really use them but these on prime very important just gonna put it out there all right burnout when in vehicle mode not moving hold circle to do a burnout to start a burnout and release it to just basically accelerate on the spot um if you do a heavy you can mash it after connecting for a sick combo um this makes it easier to get focus or at least not take damage i never really use the reversals enough but they're pretty cool um parries the reason i'm not good at metal gear rising i suck at the mechanics so i'm going to ignore that there's a reason you've never seen me do that in my astral chain videos spin attacks pretty cool the arm legion lariat basically and a shove i never use that either so I'm a scrub, I'm gonna get still safe. The Rosh combo is next on the agenda though. In fact, you know what, screw it. What do we got? Um, wait. No, I still got a lot of credits, don't I? No, I need 10,000, right? Yeah, okay, no, it's not gonna be worth sitting here. I've talked long enough. Oh, and of course you can change the difficulty if you want. Yeah. Um, I don't know about doing Commander out of the gate. I don't know how hard it is, but this is a better representation of what the game's like. Anyway, sorry, that was a bit long in the tooth, but now I've talked about it. We don't have to, we don't have to sit through that. I can just cut the time. I've shown everything you need to know. Um, one thing I didn't mention about this game, other than, you know, it's cool, just gonna put that out there, is that you can't buy this anymore, uh, digitally or physically, unless it is pre-owned. Because Activision lost the rights to the game. Yeah, the hammer combos are pretty rad too. Um, so, no dice if you wanna buy this game legally. Um, you've gotta find, well, yeah, other than pre-owned, again, getting extorted by EB Games. Just putting out there, screw it, screw EB, <laughs> screw EB. I'd be using harsher words, but I'm trying to be a good boy and not swear. Because that would be bad or something. I don't know. And I put, I put, I put that bad word in my thumbnail for the last um, Resident Evil part because they tried to... Bloody, trying to claim... Well, not... Yeah, what? Trying to ensure I can't play my own video because the credits music counts. Come on. I can make copyright detection with good, the bad, and the ugly, and stuff like that, but Resident Evil does me in. Beautiful. But anyway, besides the point, yeah, this game, um, went out of, oh, yeah, um, you couldn't buy this game, um, brand new, as of, like, what, 2017? Uh, you can get a proper dodge between those two, by the way. That's why I got still safe. It's quite handy for that. Yeah, it went out of print. You have big heavy combos. Uh, so yeah, it sucks. 
Um, this, Korra, and I assume TMNT. Um, the game that really, really, um, was on a shoestring budget. And not a lot of time at all. Yeah, so I hope you're ready for two Constructicons, because I am. Scrabber and Hook. Let's go. Yeah, so, um, back when I was watching Ye Olde Zaibatsu video, um, I believe they were implying these guys have a moveset from Bayonetta. I think they said it was Brace and Glory, Braces and Glorious. I, 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 again, I haven't played enough Bayo to really understand, but I know they are a big deal, those two. But, um, even then, like, I'm pretty sure some of these movesets are in Astral Chain in some capacity, because, you know, Astral Chain has a bit of DNA from almost every Platinum game. Um, the one I'd have to reach hardest for would be, um, uh, Vanquish, and that's just the blade is the extra time. Sam's gun that can turn into any weapon, any gun he requires, whether it be a machine gun, a sniper, or a launcher, is equivalent of the Expertar. In terms of, like, the tech they use for you know, animations and all that, looks sick as hell, too. Ow. Wow. Yeah, I forgot how much they stack you. Man, maybe I should have gone Bubblebee. Yeah, so just casually got some rank from, um... Mashing heavy in the air. Come on. At least it's not per at least it's not final metamorphosis nemesis on Nightmare or Higher. Because I would have died from getting stunned. That sounds oddly specific, but after the suffering I went through for that video no one's watching, god damn it. I need some kind of retribution. And I don't blame you either. It's remake free. What am I gonna say? Disengaging the first sub generator now. Yeah, there we go. Finally. That took way longer than usual. Um, yeah, by the time you get to Prime, especially after playing, um, what was it? Uh, what, what is it? Um, it's Commander, and then it's uh, the one in between, the one I recorded for the uh, Devastator video. Oh, well. Um, whatever difficulty that is. Um, basically, when you get high enough in the difficulty, your weapon's gonna be sick. So it basically becomes a glorified DPS race between you and the enemies. Uh, in a fun way, I make it sound kind of lame. But, you know, in the context of, well, it's pretty rad. It's, um, what's the best way to put it? It's effectively you're going hyper mode in Dark Souls, except you'll die in three hits instead of one. So you're doing massive damage to bosses, or at least most bosses. Um, and they're going to do a lot to you. But yeah. That's probably a terrible analogy, but whatever. Oh no, wrong direction. Thank you, Telefran. Oh well. You can double back there and that'll take us to the little figure eight circuit. Oh, hey guys. So some Insecticons will show up here later in uh, Mission 2. I was going to call it Vile 2. Again, the astral chain is in my mind. Oh yeah, I can show off the tech. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Yep. So sniper rifles. There is a double S, by the way. That is the S plus of this game. Um, someone got busy while we were away. As you can see. It's not too hard to dodge this. Watch as I proceed to stuff it up after saying that, I am sure. Yeah, so these are quite plentiful, thankfully, so you can change characters pretty rapidly if you like. Out of the way, you. Break through. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm definitely swapping the B. Um, I'm pretty sure you get Wheeljack and Grimlock in the next mission. Oh, excuse me a second. Now you see why I used the snipers as Bumblebee. Oh, Emesis betrayed me there. Oh, I waited for style. I got punished for it. Well done, me. Well done. Anyway. Oh, the TV's betraying me. Excuse me while I combo the hell out of this wall. Okay, I, I improve the wall. 
The TV, however, is not on, so that's great. Come on, you can do it. I'll just do some jumps while I'm at it. Okay, we can drive into the unknown. Yeah, I was right outside of fight, so good thing I waited. <laughs> Gets whacked immediately. Oh, that's not all, by the way. Yeah, so scavenger. Just one this time. Oh! <laughs> Y'all fought! And Bone Crusher. Surrender, Decepticons. This is your only warning. Yep. That uh that that even things out, I think. Yeah. Unfortunately we cannot wall hack through the burger sign. Well enough. So Bone Crusher is dug under oh no he's there. He'll um duck underground, you know. Cause he's a a drill. Those drills are something you've got to watch out for in the Devastator fight. I'm a bit of a spoiler. Um, the sidestep reminds me of the Speed Chimeras in Astral Chain as well, actually. That's kind of what I was getting at with the previous fight. Well, this is actually quite bad. Wow. I'm going to heal, because there's a good chance I die here. You only get five of these, one of these, um, ten of these. You know, you, you're better off to actually try to use your resources. And honestly, like, it's kind of scrubby to do so, but when you're on the high difficulty, you basically have to. You get hit once, and, well, you've lost about half your health. That's it. I'm not exactly hitting for high numbers right now, so this is turning into, like, a legitimate fight. And even then, I don't believe you get penalized for healing. So that's cool. You don't get rewarded like Astral Chain, though. Generator. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I will swap to B at some point, that's for sure. Um, when I get more weapons, hopefully some fists or some different swords. That'd be cool. Yeah, so I know we all jet. Oh, hey, Crimzik. You, uh, you gonna chill so I can pick you up? No? Nope? Okay, we gotta meet him midair. Gonna. Nope. Come on, you some bitch! Come on, Crimzik. Cooperate. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, I'm a uh, okay. My depth perception is off. All done, me. All done. The hell was that? I mean, other than that, I thought it was like a Decepticon fighter flying over. All right, I forgot about this mission. I haven't done this one in ages. I think I missed one already. Amazing star pony. Yeah, I did. Let's go back and grab it. There'll come a point I'm probably going to start skipping some of these because they're not particularly interesting. Yeah, all of them at least. Um, most are generally just fights, but some of them are stuff like that. Now, where the hell is the chest? It gave me the cutaway, but I am grossly inept. I think I'm driving away from it. Um, yeah, so this takes us back the way we came. So, I believe it'll be around this corner. Again, I'm being grossly inept. Yeah, of course, I'll try to. Duh. Oh, gold weapon, huh? That's a rare. Let's just have a look. Range, yeah, uncommon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's just not really telling me what I got, but... You can shoot these. It's not really worth it, but they give you credit, so, you know, it's something. I was trying to get the, uh, the slowdown, but alas, I am a scrub. Righty. Oh. I can't even say, like, salt for all. It's a PS4 controller. I'm used to the 360 version. Um, yeah, because it's identical. That bridge is cool. That's later in the game. Just heads up. Oh great, um, what's, what's his name? Yeah, Mixmaster. He's the real annoying one in this fight. So like, that's not too hard to avoid. Either is that, Mixmaster loves to spam his group at range, which will slow you down, and generally it just sucks to deal with. 
And by the way, we're getting close to the end of the file, don't worry. Um, it's weird, because like, when I was, um, many years ago, watching one of my mates, um, play Wonderful 101, it looked cool, but it was that thing I was thinking of, like, that kind of scenario where, like, this game looks cool, I feel like I'd get fatigued from so many fights. And lo and behold, here we are, in, uh, 2020 and 21, where I can sit down and play most of the Platinum game in one shot without getting bored. <laughs> Um, file 6 and Astral Chain in particular, that is a journey. A hell of a journey. Arguably the best file in that whole game. I'm hoping, um, yeah, other than just getting Astral Chain 2 in general, which I'm pretty sure we will, I'm hoping we have more stuff like that, just like a pseudo hub world outside of the Neuron um, station. Yeah, so I haven't really been paying attention to it because I've been 1v1-ing our other friend. The Mix Master has been busy laying his little slime traps. They suck. Um, it's a it's a more subdued version of Bombshell the Insect Insectathon, who we're going to meet in Chapter 2. Ow, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, sorry for all the mashing, but it's kind of an inevitability to be completely honest. I believe I hit the desk there, so that boy picked up. Awesome. Ask for this. That, that's the equivalent of, you know, in Indiana Jones where he just pulls out the gun, just shoots the guy. His ass. Ah, I'm not saying it. Ah, screw it. Yeah, the PG equivalent. Aha! This is probably so. I hope there's no, like, kids, actual young kids watching this. But I was gonna make the joke of some eight year old going, he said a bad word! Because, um, believe it or not, um, for the uninitiated, um, I work in teaching. Yeah. Not, not a full time teacher. Ah, uh, pros and cons there in that regard, but, um, kids are very good at getting offended when some one of their friends says a bad word and they it's not even the offended part they're just very good at dopping on each other don't worry i'm not one of those idiots that goes oh kids these days are snowflakes unlike my time where i got horrendously bullied and it toughened me up with no repercussions <laughs> um that's not me that's more my dad's generation if anything one of the cons of oh sorry one of the cons of the pros of having Actual baby boomer parents. Knowing it, they had a, had a way rougher than us. But at least they could buy a house. Oh, well, that went well. And for the uninitiated, occasionally it get political. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I'm just, you know... A video games are a politics-free zone, I've, told, I've been told, so, you know. Um, you know, demanding f fair rights for workers is, um... Not something you should do on YouTube, so, you know, just, uh, you know, be aware I might say that. It, yeah. I'm a regular communist for people. <laughs> for thinking people should have, uh, you know, rights of work. Yeah, that's sarcastic, but not at the same time, so. Boy, I hope someone gets offended at that. That'd be way fucking funnier. <gasps> oh, no, I said a bad word. Oh, how tragic. Ah, uh, that'll teach them snowflakes. Ah, oh, the jokes only I laugh at. Beautiful. Clearly that's why people watch my vids. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna bother fighting them. Yeah, there's that weird slidey an animation. There is something up ahead. Money? Now, oh, well... There's a lot of you, that's for damn sure. Ow! Get stuck. There we go. Yeah, my uh, snipe, my shock snipe with Bumblebee is grossly overpowered. It's, um, I think it's stronger than any, any of my weapons, in fact. Oh. There's that, so, you know, that's cool. I'll probably show off the ga gallery briefly at the end of this. I assume this is going to be part two. Um, yeah. I'm doing that thing again where I'm like, I don't know how I'm cutting this up, but... Oh! <laughs> Yeah, gonna be honest, I was not expecting it quite to be, you know, quite like this. 
Um, yeah, so it might take a bit of time to get your bearings if you're not as familiar with the game. But this is the arena we um, uh, fought as Sideswipe with Optimus. Um, this garden area shows up quite a bit. Hey, yeah, there's something I've just remembered, but I didn't show off. But thankfully, I can show it off here. So I didn't even need to fight them. Man, so many flags, huh? Um, yeah, um, oh, Crimsy. Hey, man. Come here. No, I'm not cutting the part about workers' rights, fucking. Oh, I hope someone sees over that. That's the best. Anyway, wonderful 101. Circles have secrets. Amazing. Not all circles, unfortunately. All these squares don't make a circle. Mr. Popo, you can come down anytime you want. It's okay, man. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, oh, the Seekers. Sup, dudes. Yeah, like, let's be honest. I probably shouldn't bother with this, but it's not actually that hard. To give you a bit of a taste of some of the missions in this game. That said, the Seekers are kind enough to drop ammo, so that's rad. Yeah, screw this. Yeah, snipers rule at this. Please go. There we go. Again, that wasn't even a mission. That's, I think, in Chapter 2. So we're back here. They built a gate in the meantime. We are just getting through because we are right at the end of the chapter. And it has been about an hour of recording. Ow. How tragic. Not that you take damage or anything, but still. Hey, what's this? Rat. Alright. Damn it. Wrong thing. Right, items. While we're at it. Um, I don't really need this stuff. That's not required. While, while we're at it, though, let's use some of this. Because this is a boss fight, in case you can't tell. No one gets by the constructor cons. Yeah, round two already. Let's go. Yeah, as you can see, they didn't um quite model the joints very well. Uh huh. You say that, but um, how about now? Nah? So as you can see, he got stronger. That did way less damage. I'm gonna swap to the cry hammer. He's a big, slow, lumbering jackass, so you know, I think we can get away with it. Hey, that counts as an automata reference, right? You jackass? That's not a bad word for That's not a bad word for the kids to use. I'm referencing a character. Jackass is pretty cool, right? Yeah, then again, knowing automata she could betray you, who knows? And the guitar is fully kicked in. Or at least a lead. Okay, yeah, so the hammer is... What do they say? All the Pokemon YouTubers, what's the phrase they use? Put it in work? I've been watching too much Pokemon and Blunder. Oh, and of course, the Lord himself, Envy. Uh, maybe I should make Pokemon Showdown video. <laughs> no, that was entirely tongue-in-cheek. I'm good. I'm not that good. Pokemans. And anyway, see you later, Devastator. It's been a bash. You get it? Because I hit him with a... You see a hammer. That is the appropriate reaction to my joke. Thank you, Devastator. As you can see, I am now in control of the greatest Cybertronian mission ever undertaken. It cannot be. The Proud Star. And finally, the diodes tumble. I am simply going to hasten the Insecticon's mission instead of just cyberforming this city. With me at the helm, the entire planet will be transformed in mere days. You plan to cyberform Earth? Let me correct you, Optimus Prime. I don't plan to do anything. I have already started. But the Earthlings will die! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Yeah, um, so that's the setup of the plot. Megatron's gonna cyberform Earth. First time that's ever happened, I swear. Oh, I didn't actually miss miss any missions. Hour and effectively three minutes. Cool. Rad, A rank is fine by me. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff. You get you get rewards for doing it and um, it'll mark you complete you know, how you progress through the levels um, with different characters. There's, I'm sure the achievements are in this version, they have to be, but there's achievements for beating every mission as Optimus, Bumblebee, etc. And you know, all the difficulties, you know, typical stuff. But yeah, um, that's this game so far. Pretty cool. So we do have access to Wheels Act now. Now, I'm not going to start because, well, you know, um, it's kind of the end of an episode, effectively. End of a recording session. Um, what does Wheeljack have? He has the wrenches. And what, which gun does he have? Ranged. He has, you have a basic sniper, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, 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 that's not equipped. It's the, um, the beaver missiles, I think. Oh, well. Um, Wheeljack's little gimmick is he has a shield like Megatron did for that fight. And all those other Decepticons. Grimlock is a grappler. I'm not very good with him. But you can get some cool things going on with him. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about synthesizing all that. We're gonna, we are going to go back to the main menu for a sec. And appreciate this awesome theme music. So I forget where you get to hear the title theme proper, but, and I should mention this before I end, it was composed by the guy who worked on the OG film, you know, the, the important one, uh, that solidified a certain ongoing thing that happens in stories with um, Optimus at the helm. You know, he, he dies, and, and then comes back. <laughs> I don't think that's spoilerish, but yeah. Um, so all the stuff we picked up, I'm probably gonna miss some collectibles, so it'll show us that our uh, first flag I missed probably because I couldn't hit it I think that's the one I couldn't shoot reliably but there are quite a few throughout the game I'm pretty sure I got most of them in chapter one um, let's see real quick just so I never have to come back here again until the end of the playthrough um, ton of art stage art so you know it's cool concept art that's where, where we are going next into the proud star um, character art. So there's a bunch of characters that aren't in the game at all. But I'm pretty sure this ties in that whole, yeah, generation stuff. The scene art. Oh, this is some cool music which shows up much later. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all kind of just promotional artwork. Really cool stuff. Again, I could say it about every song in the game, but man, this soundtrack is f uh, fucking amazing. It's the best. Um, one thing to show off real quick. Challenge mode. Um, f this is file 12 from Astral Chain. Um, as you can see, we only have missions 1, 2, and 35. Um, you can do them on every difficulty. It's encouraged, in fact. And... I guess these are kind of like Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne. There's something most people, myself included, never do on their main, on their first playthrough. But the rewards are really good. And keep you up with the power curve of the game. Um, I don't, I'll probably show off one or two perhaps. But um, they are very much like File 12 and Astral Chain. In that some of these will go on for like 15 minutes of non-stop fighting. Which I'm not whinging about. That is awesome. Anyway, um, just real quick, so City of Steel, we've done, the Proud Star is next, but anyway, um, it's 12.40am, and it's hot, I'm done, catch you later for part 2 I guess.